So I've decided to uh, take out my RTL SDR, which is right here. It's on a mini PC, which is a Core i5. Uh, eight, I think it's the eighth generation of Intel Core i5. Not the newest, but still running uh, Windows 11 though. So I uh, haven't used the RTL SDR V3 in a long time. And uh, be, be aware if you buy one on the line, make sure you check it out from the official RTL SDR blog because there's a lot of fakes. They actually show you a lot of the fakes also and the uh, fakes don't have the same coverage and frequency and performance. So uh, we're gonna probably do a few videos with that. I've just uh, turned it on. I'm actually uh, listening to uh, Gander Radio right now if, uh, to go on the uh, on the screen where I am actually tuned right now. So we're going to play uh, with that uh, today and uh, have fun uh, rediscovering it. Uh, one of the first things I notice is all the images that pop up here and there on the uh, HF bands, which is part of that unfortunate, uh, you know, it's low priced, so it has flaws, but it's still sensitive and receives all uh, in general. I'm going to use it with different software. I'm going to try, uh, right now I'm using uh, the uh, SDR console V3, but uh, I'm going to try it with different other uh, software also and see uh, how well it goes. But you know, uh, it, it receives as definite, and if you are listening to shortwave, I think as an entry level, um, even though you have to tweak and understand how to tweak it, install the proper, dri proper drivers, um, for the price, you know, you're getting something that works, and uh, compared to a lot of other cheap SDRs. So uh, more videos to come, I'm going to actually have videos receiving stuff, and uh, more personal observations on the... Uh, RTL SDR V3. I know uh, quite a few of you out there have it, and um, it is interesting and fun to play with, uh, definitely. And I haven't plugged it in in such a long time. I think it's been staying on my desk for more than a year before, if not more. Uh, last time I've used it, probably made videos, and uh, I should search for the videos because it's probably been quite a while since I've actually used it. So I'm going to have fun with that play with it. Uh, not too noisy also. I'm One of the things I was wondering is, um, you know, if I actually use it on this little mini PC here, how noisy it could be and actually fairly quiet. I'm, I'm surprised and of course the uh, antenna plugged here is the MLA30 outdoors through my multi-coupler. So, um, and I'm going to compare it. I'm going to actually have reception on, on the AirSpy and on the RTL SDR and compare the reception and the receive on both. Uh, I think you guys are going to have probably uh, find that interesting to see uh, the observations I, I get from it and you know and compare see how well one against the other are. Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do please subscribe give us thumbs up.